Hello guys, how are you? What a pity, we can't meet together in Vienna this year. That is sad and it's strange for me, for all of us. But anyways, the Dreinemann crew gives us the opportunity to have workshops at our home. And that is really nice. Now you can, watching me sweat, have a glass of wine or a bottle of beer or water, could be worse. <laughs> okay? Anyways, um, what is my workshop all about? Um, my workshop is about eight simple exercises. Exercises who enables you to improve your strength of the sword or your ability to combine movements. Okay? Also with the sword, obviously. Uh, the focus here will be the upper body and our arms. Okay? So, I'm glad that you decided to have a look at my workshop. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. So that is the first exercise. Just keep a neutral stand. Both feet are on the same height. Straight arms. And move your sword from the roof to the ground, up and down. Short edge from below and long edge from the roof. Up and down. So, the pivot point is here, in the shoulder, not the elbow, no, do this, yeah, just around the shoulder. When we strike from below, it is a strike, okay? it is not just a return into a starting position that we can strike from above. No, this is a strike, this is a strike. Long edge strike, short edge strike, okay? Both is a strike. Focus on striking also from below, like this. It's like a strike on the chin, okay? Tension in your arms, in your shoulders, in your back. And go up and down. Okay. So that is the first exercise. The second exercise is quite the same, but now we are striking diagonally from the right to the left, or from the left to the right, from the roof to the ground, like this. Start on the shoulder. We have a neutral stand, the feet are in front of us both, and try to keep your knees slightly bent. Okay? And now we strike from right to left, from above to the ground, or from the roof to the ground. And you can see my body is moving, and my sword is on the right, and my body is on the left. My sword switches to the left, my body goes to the right, okay? Okay, now on the other side. Do this a couple of times, repeat this for a while and then Switch the side. Okay, what I will show you now is I straighten my arms here, right? I do it not narrow on my body, like this. I do it in a wide circle. Here. And imagine I have an opponent in front of me, okay? So I want to reach him. And switch the side. It's quite the same as before in the second one. 
we do breast cuts on right or from the left side. But this time we try to make a transition from the right to the left breast cuts and from the left to the right breast cuts. Um, as I said before, we want to improve or we want to learn how to combine movements and that is what we're doing here. Okay? So let's try this. Same stance, neutral. And now we strike three times from our right shoulder. And now, here, when my sword is directed to the ground, I shoot over into an ox position. Here. And now I can do breast cuts on my left shoulder. Three times. And now I shoot over and do my breast cuts to the other side. Okay? As long as I want and then shoot over. And shoot over. And you can play around with it. But try to stick on three times on the right, three times on the left. Okay? Also, you can see it here in this direction. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And so on. Okay? Once from this direction, you can have a look. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's really funny. Okay, let's go on to the fourth exercise. Okay, the next exercise. The next exercise is about cross strikes on right and left. This is easy. I will show you in a couple of seconds. But the special thing is here the static low stance. And I will show this first, it's very important. Do that. Like if you want to have a low, a nice minor stance, I will show you. Just have a bandit front leg and straight. And now you can go very deep and have a very stable position. Please don't bend both legs when you try to go low. That looks weird and really unstable and exhausting. I mean, forget this. Have a straight half leg. With straight, I don't mean straight like a rod, but in a, in a strong manner. Okay? It's like what we understand in long point. We don't have straight arms. We have a slightly bended a strong angle, okay? And that is the same here for our half leg. So we stand low and nice, okay? That's it. But now the next thing is we try to keep our hips straight in front of us, okay? And if you want to do this, just uh, straighten or direct your aft foot in front of you. Raise here your heel, okay? Like this. Now your hip is nice and uh, straight into the forward position. Now we can do anything when we want, right, left, doesn't matter, okay? So I'll show you from the other side. Now with the right foot forward. No, that makes no sense. Also with that one. Okay? Slightly bended, straight, hips also straight. Now we can do anything. From left and right. In this case, we do cross strikes. Okay, so what we do, we go on our stance like this, nice and deep, straighten your hips, and now we strike from right, from left, and so on. Okay. 
in this direction can have a look ahead. Okay. And we can switch to the right side, the right foot forward in front of us. And don't forget your hips. Depends on me what you want. Um, yeah, that's it. That is cross strikes from a static position. Here and with the right foot or leg forward. Okay? Cool. Okay, next exercise. The same as before. Static stance. Left or right foot in front of you. Doesn't matter, but now we do. Lower strikes, okay? From below, with a wide circle. A wide circle. Try to keep your balance. That's also challenging. And now we do it narrow in front of us. Yeah. And also with wide motions. Okay? Show you also yeah, to the side, I sit the leg. First, wide motions, wide circles. And after a couple of times, narrow in front of us. Try to align your catch. Okay, that's very important. Don't just do the exercise, try to make it. Technically correct. Make your strikes lethal. Here, there, there, there. All right. And now. And so on. Yeah, now I begin to start. That's what I told you. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's go on to the next exercise. Okay, next one is uh, a classic. Um, the Sturzhau Oberhau combination. <laughs> so it's like in English uh, plunge strike or upper strike combination, but we call it in our club short long edge combination or drill. Okay? So it's like basically uh, let it go to the stance, but now focus here what I'm doing. I start on my shoulder. Strike with the short edge from the roof below and then cut against the second time from the same direction, from the same angle, the long edge. It's like here and here. Or on the other side, here and here. As you can see, it's easy to make steps with striking. That helps a lot. But now we try this with a static stance. It must be challenging, otherwise it doesn't learn anything. So, left foot in front of us. Remember the hips. Plunge, strike. Plunge, strikes. Or slow. Plunging, striking. Plunging, striking. Or shoot over and strike after. Shoot over and strike after. Whatever helps, call it how you want. That's the exercise. Switch the, the leg, don't forget your hips. Yes, that's it. And the next one is waiting. Okay, now uh, a 
exercise about the Krumm power. Okay? We all know the Krumm power. It is a flat movement, you know, from the left to the right, both thumb grip and the cross guard to the height of our navel. We can break the Langen out, the fluke, and so on. It is one of the master strikes, and I think it's very important for us. So, let's combine the right and the left home power together. Okay? You already know our stance. We have uh, discussed before. The front leg is bent, the upper one is straight. Now we can have a nice and low stance. The hip is straight. Thumb grip and shoot over the point in front of you. Okay, the cross guard is in the height of the navel. And now I switch to the height of my head. It's like a circle. And back. And to the height of the head. And back. And now I feel it here in my shoulder, in front of my shoulder. That is our goal. Switch the leg and do it one more time. And make it with reach. Straight arms. And to the height of my head. And to the navel. Back. And so on. Okay? One more time in front of you. Like this. It's like padding.
if these exercises are too easy or too difficult. I mean, just pick up a heavier sword or a lighter one. That is entirely up to you. Fox, I miss you and I wish to see as many of you as possible next year. And in the meantime, I wish you a happy and healthy time. See you soon.